All right, guys, welcome to Mining Positivity with PJ. And uh, we got kind of a unique episode today. Um, we're going to be doing some base maintenance um, here with my sheep. And that's one of the things that we're going to be doing today is kind of redoing this sheep pen because it's really basic and plain and it's too small, actually, because um, I need a bunch of wool for one of the projects that we're doing. And this pen's just not going to cut it. So the other thing we're doing is I had talked a while back about pushing this back because it's just too close. So I went ahead and dug all this out and then fixed the wall to where it was all dirt and then let the grass spread down there so we can do that today too. So let me just throw this wool inside of here. And I want to show you um, the Valentine's area that I've been working on over the weekend. So um, I pre-record these episodes. So when you saw the Monday mine, that was recorded on Friday, I think. Maybe Friday or Saturday morning. But um, the rest of the weekend, I was very, very busy. <laughs> so as you can see, lots and lots of green going on over here. I'm pretty much done um, for all the areas I wanted to have to build. So yeah, it's looking good. I went ahead and just took out all of the... Did I just see some... Why is that scaffolding up there? I don't remember what that's for. Why is that there? Oh, that's for the trees. Okay. I was like, wait, what is that? I was using some scaffolding to take down some mushrooms here. I thought maybe that's what it was. So yeah, it was a lot of work to replace all of this with grass. A lot of just making grass squares and then digging out the middles and putting dirt and letting it spread and things like that. And it's not perfect. And there's still some areas where it's either still spreading or it's just not growing. So I don't know. There's kind of some strange behavior happening here. And I just did this area. But yeah, this will give you an idea of how I do this. So um, basically just surround an area in green grass and then dig all this up and put dirt and then the green grass will spread. And while that's happening, you just move down and start the same thing over and over and over again. But we did probably more than I even needed to for this build. Um, I do want to do a lot of things. I have an idea for uh, right here, like a viewing area where there'll be like an overgrowth and and kind of a place where you can walk up and look in the water. So we'll have to put something cool in the water to look at there. Uh, I want to put a gazebo over there. We're going to put the frog statue over there. We're going to do a big heart thing in the mountain. Uh, we need some lily pads. We need to terraform the water and things like that. So, yeah. Uh, been busy over here. The other thing is while I was working on the grass, there was a villager up here. Somehow he got all the way from the village up here. There's no way up here. So I don't know how he got up here. Now I opened this little spot, but even that, they shouldn't be able to get in here. Um, and it was the Fletcher that actually was up there. Let's see, where's he at? No, nope, that's not him. And excuse my noise here while I eat this real quick. Alright. And there's a lot of <laughs> going on there. Is that the Fletcher? No. He's got like um a hat with a little a piece of coal or something in it. Or flint. It'd be flint. Is this him? No. Did he get back? I see he might be out again. I don't know how he, he's getting out. He's like... And other villagers aren't getting out. They're not going anywhere. Oh, no. No, that's... I just thought that was him, but that's not him either. This is him. Ken. Yeah. What? So, he was up there, over there by that big tree. Like... There's literally no way out of this thing. Especially for villagers. Like, the only way out is right here. And you'd have to open that gate, and they can't do that. So, yeah, I don't know. And even that, I don't think he would have passed all the way up here, then all the way up here and over here. Even if the gate was left open, would it, it wasn't. So, it was, it was a nightmare getting him back in. I had to, like, put this down, and I was, like, building little, like, trails to kind of push him... And I had to keep interacting with his, like, cell menu. 
yeah, it was crazy. So, all right, first up on the maintenance for today is to go ahead and move back that storage unit because that's been bothering me for a while. Every time I go and I drop things off over there, it's just really, really annoying how close it is. Um, and it just feels really claustrophobic and it's not nice. Um, this area is where I dig up all the grass. This is my grass farm. So I just come over here with a silk touch axe or pick or silk touch shovel and just, you know, shovel up all this grass and then just put dirt down. So which finally this thing is starting to get a little lower on dirt, <laughs> not too much, um, but a little bit. And I noticed I only have one piece of rooted dirt. So and I want to do something with that because at first I thought it was like rotten dirt or something. When I first started this series and the my first introduction was like a wandering trader was selling it. And I was like, what? Why would I buy that? And what does it even do? But it actually does do something. So um, I need to make a ton of um, chests here. So let me do that real quick. The reason I'm doing this is because I just want to save myself the headache of taking things into my inventory and moving them back. It'll be much easier if I just um, kind of build the storage unit behind itself and then remove the wood and put the wood back over there. So I'm going to flip this today because it'll be too dark. So let me do that real quick. While I'm in here, I think it would be worth um, going ahead and just getting our new netherite gear on too. So... We've got this gear that I've been working on. It pretty much has everything that my current armor has, except for thorns. Um, thorns, and I don't think it has soul speed. So we'll have to go and find a piglin that we can trade with again. And then this is just a sword that has smite on it, where this one has sharpness. Um, I think I even have another sword. Let me make sure it's not smite already. No, it's a looting sword. Oh, this is looting too. So, oh, this is the one with fire aspect, which was getting annoying, uh, especially when you're fighting Endermen. So yeah, I, I'm just going to go and change out this armor and upgrade it real quick. So let's go down here and do that. So super simple to do. Just go ahead, throw that in and you got yourself some netherite armor. One ingot per piece or item. So we'll even have one left over for something. So it was actually really helpful that in that last uh, adventure we had that we wound up just finding so much of that ancient debris because that helped make the, the ingots for us. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in here. I'm also going to put this sword in here. Um, and then we're going to take this armor off and put on the protection armor. And so this other armor, I I do want to put in here. Um, just not right now. I don't want to deal with that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this in here. Okay. So we've got our new armor on. Looking good, looking good. Let's take a look. I mean, it looks exactly the same. <laughs> Only it won't inadvertently kill things that I'm not trying to kill. So, all right. So here's my plan here. I'm just going to tear this out and then just rebuild it but right here. Was that how did I have that? Oh yeah, there's just a stair on the sides there. So uh, yeah, I'll start that. So let's move this part first. That'll be the easiest thing to do. Okay, we've got the pillars in the back now, so now I'm just going to remove the stairs and the signs and get all of that into place.
Okay, we've got all of our shelving kind of put into place here, like the frame of it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move this now. I'm worried about Mike and Ike kind of getting in here and doing some things they shouldn't be doing. Also, for some reason, there's like stone in certain places over here, so I'll have to put some grass down. But uh, I'm going to flip this to day in a second, but this is the harder part. Now it's going to be moving all the items back, and that's why I made all of the extra um, cases, just so we don't have to have things in our inventory. We can just throw them in real quick. So yeah, let's head down here. Let's go ahead and throw these chests right there. And we'll go ahead and just fill this in with as much as we can. And this, of course, will give us a bunch of chests left over at the end. But by moving this back, it also allows me to start having some storage here, which I want it to. So we can really kind of isolate what's inside of these chests and maybe uh, kind of group some things that make sense together rather than the way it is now where it's kind of all spread out everywhere. Oh, I, I think I made maybe just a bit too many. <laughs> I don't think I need that many. All right, so the easiest way to do this is to lock your inventory. So I try to like put things, like I put a piece of wood here. Um, actually, no, we'll go ahead and put this here. We'll put this here and we'll just know that everything in these three rolls in the middle are just things that need to get tossed in the case. And so the other thing that might be helpful is to kind of put the axe there. So I guess I will put that one piece of wood there because instead of pulling this all out, I can just grab all of it and then just throw it in. And now we can go ahead and put that there and put the chest here. And I'll just do the same here. And like in some cases, yeah, you're going to run out of space, but you'll be able to just stand in the items and throw it in. If I was moving like even further away, I would use Mike and Ike. So I would use their storage to just add things in, use shulker boxes, everything I've got to just get it done. And then, of course, this is not going to be organized anymore because I'm doing this. Um, so at some point, I'll have to go through and organize all of this again. All right, we got that done. I'm going to go ahead and just pop this out real quick and get some grass in here. But look at how much more open this is now. I mean, just it was only three blocks that I pushed it back, but it makes a huge difference. Like, it's just so much better, at least in my opinion. I don't know. To me, it seems so much better. Um, somehow, I did not have a piece of glass to go into that item frame. Strange. Um, and we'll go ahead and put this cobblestone away. And grab a few pieces of dirt here. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and flip it to day real quick and then add some more storage. Okay, so definitely want to put some storage here. Um, we'll probably have a similar layout to the other side, so I'll go ahead and just kind of lay it out. And then we'll be able to fill it in. Oh, it worked out perfectly, too, where I can just put the pillars right there. So that'll be nice. Uh, and then we'll probably just put a few more here. Like, why not, right? Wow, it's like perfect again. That's that's really cool. So we could go crazy on this side and have even more chests up there, but I don't think that's really necessary. Um, I probably will remove this or make it overhang a little bit everywhere. I'm not super worried about that stuff right now. So we'll go ahead and just throw this in here. Okay, we look all back up to shape. I'll have to go and get some oak to fill this in unless I've got some over here. I've been trying to put more wood in this chest because that's the one thing I don't store on this side of the island is wood. Um, maybe it's spruce. I'm not sure if I'm using spruce over there. 
probably am using spruce because that was kind of the first tree I had here. Yeah, that looks like spruce. So we could probably do just a little bit of this. It actually won't let me put a block there. That was weird. There's been some really strange buggy things happening lately. Uh, but nothing like game breaking, but just kind of strange. Not that. That was definitely me. <laughs> and then we'll get some stairs going. Uh, if we're going to do stairs, we probably need to just go ahead and finish this off. That's going to give us just so much storage. It's going to be kind of ridiculous. Yeah, we'll definitely need some more uh, spruce. And we're going to need some leaves, too. I think that's the other thing. You know how much I love decorating with leaves? Um, actually, we've got a ton of spruce, so we can actually just knock this out right now. Might as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Give ourselves some stairs. And just throw this in. Alright, that looks good. I like that a lot, actually. Um, I'm wondering if I'll wind up putting a plank across here. Just to kind of make that look the same. I've got the stuff. Might be able to do it right now. Uh, let's use some scaffolding, though. I have been using scaffolding a lot lately, which I'm happy about. There's so many things in Minecraft that are so useful, but I wind up just ignoring them. For some reason, I have no idea why. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure this is going to look uh, good and kind of make that whole thing come together. Yeah, I like that. I'm actually thinking too, I may just put a beam here. Just to kind of define out that window. So yeah, that looks cool. Like it. Like it a lot. And this gives more room for Mike and Ike to kind of roam around back here. Um, I do think I need to clean this up a little. So I think what I'll do is just for now, let's replace those blocks with some dirt. So let me grab that, and let me also put some of these other things away. And since this is open now, I can kind of go ahead and finish off this, this gating area. Yeah. Or maybe we'll wind up putting some bushes here. Yeah, we'll probably put two more bushes there, just to kind of keep that look going. But yeah, that looks cool. I like it. I, I really like this. This is much, much better than it was. It's nice and open. We can even extend out our vine farm here, which I'm not going to do right now. But we can do that. So that will give us even more vineage. And that'll be good. But now we can focus on our... Um sheep pen which we're going to extend out here so let me go ahead and grab as much spruce as i can just because that's what we've been using for everything i don't want it to be too different than what we already have and i actually do have some oak leaves yeah all right let's head on up there Okay, now, thinking about this, I want to push it way back, so I think I'm going to kind of go around this area. The other nice thing is this is going to give me some grass, so that'll just be helpful for some more terraforming. But we'll go ahead and push this back, maybe to about here. So, we're not going to be adding, like, too much. It's not going to be, like, insanely bigger. But it will be bigger. And actually, for a sh you know, just a, like an animal pen, that little bit, that's that's adding quite a bit. So go ahead, fill in some of these dirt patches. Oh, we only got one piece of dirt. Okay. Okay, now, I kind of have to build the back end and get the sheep in there and temporarily block them off and then rip this out and figure out how we want to do the front. So, I'm thinking we're going to have, like, spruce logs on the outer parts. Something like that. 
to kind of define the outskirts of it. And we'll just kind of randomly put these around. They're not going to have any, like, symmetry to them or anything like that. Put them like that. And then on top of those, probably just put a piece of spruce plank here. Just to give it, like, some kind of look. And as long as things are... Oops. As long as things are too high, the animals can't get out. So we don't have to worry about that. So the pillars already are good enough. I do kind of like this gate um, look. Now, I don't think this... I think this is, like, jungle gate or something. Um, so we won't be using that. Just our lovely spruce gating. And then... I think I might use leaves at the bottom just to kind of give it more of a natural look. So let's go ahead and gate this up. Uh, I just realized if I do this this way, I'm going to be losing quite a bit of this pen. So I think what I'll do... Hmm, maybe I do have to do that. Let's see. I guess we'll see. We'll get a little deeper into this build and see if that's going to push things out too far. Okay, I think I, I, I'm seeing, like, what I'm doing wrong if that's the right word i i want the fencing and stuff to go on the outside of this yeah i just need to figure out like do i want these things to be like here i, I think so i think that's the move so in some places i may have to remove some more grass um and do things like that, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we need. It'd be helpful, too, if I actually had more leaves on me. I'm gonna go check in a second to see, like, what I have so I can see how this is going to look. So, like, this... Well, no, I guess that's fine. Or maybe I want to move these out here, like this. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let me go look, um, see if I have some more of these oak leaves. I think I do. If not, I'll have to make some of those really quick. But I have them in a chest, like, right here. I think I had a bunch of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're good. Okay. Uh, just in case. Might as well. I'm not going to get too close to that beacon because I don't want to hear the UFO sounds. That was light. Okay. And... Yeah. So, like, I definitely don't like this. I don't like the way that's sticking out like that. So we'll go ahead and just move this all back. So the one thing that's kind of annoying is that the grass underneath there will never turn to grass. Like, it has to be grass. Um, I don't, I don't know why. That doesn't make any sense, but I'll have to go through here and just change this all out. Okay, we're getting there. We're making some progress. Um, we're gonna have this be the side here. So the sheep can't jump up here. Even if they could get on this little lip here. But I don't know if they can. Because they can't seem to get on that lip. Um, let's go ahead and extend this out. I want to think about how big I actually want this thing. 
Do I want it to come to where it is now? Yeah, I guess might as well. Like, we'll have a pretty big... Maybe we'll make it just a little smaller. Like, one. Go, like, here. Go ahead and put our cap on. As always, inventory management. Inventory management. <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and bring that across. Put our leaves in. And I kind of like the way that looks anyways. That, it just looks cool to me. I like that. Then we'll go ahead and put these in here. And soon we're getting to the point where we're going to need to get the sheep out. Which I think is now. So we should be able to safely... Bust this out. It's not like they're going to go anywhere. Even if they did get out a little bit. This is my... Let's see, efficiency. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, they're not going to be able to go anywhere. So, it won't be a big deal. I want to be careful not to mine them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this looks good. And now I can simply take these bottoms out. Um, we're going to need probably all of our green grass here. Okay, we ran a little short on grass, but we do have dirt. So we can go ahead and just kind of dig some of this up to give us what we need. And then just throw the dirt in. Okay, we've got the new pin in. It's much larger. I'm liking that. But as I began to tear this, um, this fencing down, I actually think I like it. Like, I think I like this color. So, change of plans here. I think we're going to rip this out and replace it with the uh, jungle fencing. And so, I'll, I'll have to make some more of that, but I, I, I'm pretty sure I have jungle wood. Um... But yeah, I, I just like that. I think it's got a nice look to it. Thankfully, I didn't tear the whole thing out before I realized that, but you know how building goes on this channel. It's like a work in progress all the time. Um, yep, that's just the way it is. So let me do as much as I can here and just see where that takes us. The other thing I'm wondering about, too, is if I want to do, like, a top layer of leaves here. Will that look okay, or will that be ridiculous? Let's kind of see what that looks like. I kind of like it, actually. Hmm. Yeah. I think I do like that. So, I'll go ahead and just kind of throw this around. Alright, I actually did have some jungle fencing already made. So throw that in and because I did the two layers of leaves now the sheep can't go anywhere while I'm temporarily changing this out so it's even better but I like the way that kind of gives like an open feel in there um 
I was gonna add some stuff in there too, like some uh, drinking troughs and things like that, but because the sheep need to eat the grass to actually uh, get their wool to return, I wanna leave as open as possible. Let's see, is this all jungle wood now? Yep. Okay. Looks good. Now the last thing to do is just kind of breed them up a bit. So we can get a couple more sheep going. I don't want to go crazy. I don't want to have like a ton of sheep in there. Uh, actually, I think I have some wheat in here. But I want just a, a little bit more than what we have. There we go. Yeah, maybe like 14. Oh, nice. I was hoping to get another neon green one. Alright. So the other thing I wanted to do was to put um, some, some chests there to kind of store the wool. Because it makes no sense that the wool's down here. So, I'm going to go ahead, grab the two chests that we already made. Throw those in. And yeah, problematic. I need to clear up some inventory real quick. Okay, now we should have some room. Maybe not all of this. Actually, almost definitely not all of this, but a decent amount. Okay, the one thing we do need to consider is some lighting in here. So, let's grab ourselves some lanterns, if we have any. We do not. We've got plenty of material to make them. Yeah, 11 for now is fine. And we may wind up needing some more of these jungle fences. Oh, Raining, raining, raining. So the reason I want to put some lighting here is not for mob stuff, obviously, because we're on the Mushroom Island. But really because the grass will grow even at night if there's lighting. So yeah, we just want to light this up. Question is, how do we go about that? So we could do something like that. And then just hang a lantern from there. But that will prevent them from going into those areas. So I don't totally love that. Okay, I think our way to go might be something as simple as, like, just placing them on the outsides here. Uh, but I don't like that either. And you can't place a lantern on leaves. And because we have these half slabs here, we can't place them on there. Let's just see how much light that gives. I mean, that is giving off quite a bit of light, even from out here. So we could... kind of just surround this area a bit. Let's just see what that looks like. Yeah, okay. Then... The other thing we might want to do, just... Just for the sake of ease of getting, like, in and out. Um, if we get kind of like a, a little waiting area here, this will prevent me from having a bunch of sheep, like, kind of just exiting on me. So let me go make two more fences. Okay. So what that's going to do is just allow me to get in and out without them getting it like all over and crazy and stuff like that so 
Now, I don't think the grass will spread. So... We'll have to just get some grass here. Oops. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the grass here will just... It'll never spread to those areas. Oops. I don't know if I can dig that up now. Okay. I'm very happy with this. Um, I think we need to path it out, though. So, we'll just have this go right along here. And we'll have it turn a bit. Right there. Yeah, that looks nice. And maybe push that back one more. Yes. Okay. This probably needs to be filled in with grass now. But you know what? I'll take care of that off camera. But yeah, I had fun doing this. This, And I've been wanting to do this for a while, but it just became kind of a necessity right now because I need these colors for some of the Valentine's Day builds. So... Now I can just come in here, get the colorful wool that I need. And yeah, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I look forward to seeing you guys later this week for our adventure episode. Until then, bye friends!